Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Crypto Express, where it's my goal, passion, and purpose to help you get and stay up to date with what's going on in the crypto space and how you can capitalize on that. Okay, if that sounds good, let's get started. Please press the like and subscribe as it tells me that this information is valuable to you. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, this is Bitcoin's latest price action. Um, many have been a little disappointed with the latest correction, but as we know, all things that go up have to correct at some point. It's just good and healthy for the market. That said, we're sitting at about 50, where are we right now? We're at about $50,000. And this is this could be a good opportunity to accumulate some more. Of course, it's a personal call. Dollar cost averaging in which basically means just buy a little bit every single day. And I've made a previous video on where you can buy Bitcoin, but you can buy it on virtually any exchange it is a good way to go because you can't predict the market. That said, let's move in to key news because as we know, so Mr. Ted says it's been another large volume day for the spot Bitcoin ETFs, about 2.54 billion US dollars have come in to the crypto market into Bitcoin. And it looks like there were significant outflows of GPTC, which traded at 620 million volume on the day, likely owed to Genesis, who were proved to begin selling their grayscale assets last week. So as we know, it's been a little turbulent since the Bitcoin ETFs were approved and it's suspected to continue to be this way for some time but we know that ethereum's etf is also up for approval soon and we also have bitcoin happening which happens in april that will also cut the circulating supply in half that's produced in each and in invalidating the network so it's really important to keep a big picture on what's going on in the crypto space and not get you know absorbed or disappointed or scared by daily news. That said, I'm just informing you of what's been going on. The next big piece of news that is going to impact the crypto space, as we know, the crypto market follows in large part traditional markets. So the traditional stocks, they haven't completely decoupled or separated. And in traditional markets, there's Nvidia. This is the ticker, as you can see on the screen. They're fixing to report their earnings for this last quarter uh, in 2024. Um, I believe it already happened. Um, but regardless, this news should have a big effect and big impact on the traditional market because it's been said, and I was watching Ren Uner's channel earlier, that in large part, Nvidia's stock was driving the general stock market because it was doing so good. So these results are going to have an impact on the stock market, which then in turn will have an impact on the crypto market. So just to keep an eye out for that and just to read this for you so you have a complete picture of what's going on, it says Nvidia Corp will announce fiscal fourth quarter results on Wednesday and give a forecast for the current period, showing whether one of the biggest stock run-ups in history was justified. The chip maker faces sky high expectations with investors betting that it will remain the key beneficiary of booming artificial intelligence spending. Because if you saw my video from last week and you watched, you were watching AI tokens, that was the hottest market movement narrative in the crypto space last week. And it's interesting because it's the first time in history we're really seeing that Bitcoin, which in many ways was early as a technology and as a solution, is now finding its match. It's the problem it was designed to help solve, which is AI. And NVIDIA is, I don't know all the details of NVIDIA, but I, I, I know that they are a chip maker, as we see on the screen. And this is the biggest problem that the world's current innovation is facing because with AI's boom, as we've seen it everywhere, ChatGPT, we've seen it, it's literally implementing with everything. Like it's implemented with Adobe and just 
and, and so many tools, pretty much everything is touching Google, Microsoft, every known technological company and tools and solutions we use in our life are now starting to integrate and use the power of AI. And this is amazing, but this these AI models need to run off of something. They need some compute power. And these chip makers, this is like which NVIDIA is, is that solution, right? They're the manufacturers of these chip makers. And if we were watching, and if we watched last week's video of mine, you would know that I covered a project that I'm quite bullish on. I think it's a complete game changer. It's called BitTensor. And essentially it's a decentralized neural network. So don't get lost in the com you know, complex words, but it basically means that it's using the power of blockchain, which is a decentralized, you know, like net for validating information around the world that no one controls, which is amazing because it's also the first time in history that no government can control the network. It's owned by the people for the people. So it's quite revolutionary and Nvidia. So anyway, so this, this project that I covered last week is the actual solution or an example of the actual solution that crypto offers the real world's next step in evolution with AI. And anyway, Nvidia, which has driven traditional markets this last year, is a good indicator for us in the crypto space of how high and how successful crypto's decentralized AI projects can go. So very, very interesting. It's an indicator of what's going on in the grand scheme of things that affects crypto. All right, next I'm going to share an extremely powerful video. I frankly, all of Michael Saylor's explanations are so good. They're, they just are really, really good explanations of Bitcoin's power. So let me go ahead and play this for you. You have paper gains of about 70% or so, which a lot of people uh, would like to see that sort of return. At any point, would you sell? When would it make sense to take profits there? Well, I, I famously said I'm going to be buying the top forever. Uh, Bitcoin is is the exit strategy. It, it is the, the uh, strongest asset. So what we see right now is the Bitcoin has just emerged as a trillion dollar asset class. And it's alongside uh, names like Apple and Google and Microsoft. But the difference between Bitcoin and the Magnificent Seven is Bitcoin's an asset class. It's not a company. There's not a lot, enough room in the capital structure of those companies to hold 10 trillion or 100 trillion dollars worth of capital. So Bitcoin's competing against gold, which is 10x what it is right now. It's competing against the S&P index. It's competing against real estate, a hundred trillion dollar plus asset class as a store of value. Yeah. So we believe capital is going to keep flowing from those asset classes into Bitcoin because Bitcoin is technically superior to those asset classes. And that, that being the case, there's just no reason to sell the winner to buy the losers. Enough said, right? It's just Bitcoin is on the move. And if you don't own some already, I would encourage you to buy some, especially with the recent correction phase that we're going through right now, as I was showing you earlier. You know, it, it hit almost 52,000, I believe was the last all time high. 52, 52,500, just about. And it, it previously ran up even higher. So this is a good opportunity. It's not financial advice, but if you look at the signs, could be a good win. All right, now we're gonna shift gears into, how can I say it? Quick money making strategies in the crypto space. Because as I've mentioned before in crypto, you really have to see the space in your investments. You have to divide it, right? So if it's a pie, say like 25%, don't quote me on it, but say about 25% should go into your gold equivalents, right? Your your hard investments, if that's even a thing. So your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, uh, the, the most fundamental, you know, proven, uh, most widely adopted and used cryptos, which are Bitcoin, it was the first ever, it's digital gold, it's a store of value. And some projects are also building on Bitcoin. 
And then you have Ethereum. Ethereum is the same thing or the equivalent of like your app store. You know how there's apps, you can go on your iOS, Apple store or your, you know, Android store, same thing. So you need to have that reserve. Then you need to have your large caps, you know, for your layer ones, which we'll go into in a second. You know, your like layer ones, like your Solanas, your Arbitrum, um, your Binance, your BNB, all projects except for Arbitrum that I've, I've covered in previous videos. I can make one on Arbitrum too, if you'd like me to. And then you want to have a reserve, like another 25%, 10 to 25%, depending on your risk appetite that go towards narratives. You know, what is the, what is the hot topic that's moving the market right now? And sometimes these have good fundamentals. They have good tech. They have real teams. They have real investors and backers. They have good token economics. These are all factors that you want to check off your list that tell you they paint a picture of a good solid project. And then you have some that are just, you know, like you put five, 10% of your, of your money into these projects that are just purely de like degenerate, like they're, they're degen tokens. We don't know who the teams are. Sometimes they're anonymous. We don't know, you know, they don't even have a white paper sometimes. Sometimes it's based off a joke, <laughs> like meme tokens. And these projects, they can do 50, 20, 100 X, okay? Times your initial investment but it's completely a risk and you need to be prepared to lose that money. So that said, the next projects I'm gonna share with you, they're not in the DGEN, okay, category. They would be in your like, what's hot category, okay? And they have real gameplay, real teams. They have all of those key fundamentals, which you can go check out in more detail. I will link all these projects below. But the first is the one we're looking at on the screen. It's called Pixels and Pixels, is just a project that's really uh, sending l little tidal waves throughout the crypto space. Mainly, it, it launched yesterday and on all major tier one exchanges, it has um, an enormous user base community and we know that communities in crypto are the biggest sign of mass adoption, especially for a game. If somebody if it doesn't have a large community of gamers that actually enjoy the game, the gameplay, then it's not going to succeed. And I believe they have about 180,000 active users. So it's a really, really, really bullish sign for them. And it's been compared to Mavia, which I will get into in a minute. But let's first take a look at Pixel's chart. This is their 24 hour chart. You can see it's in the red, which indicates usually a good opportunity to buy seven day chart also quite bearish but let's zoom out let's look at okay it's just looking all red <laughs> it's not looking good guys but they do have they have all the other great factors so let's just make sure i always double check my information yeah so they're projected to do very well and considering they're in the red it's a good opportunity to buy considering everything else checks off all right that said let us move in to the next hot token which is mavia and mavia is actually backed by arguably the biggest crypto influencer or i wouldn't call him so he's an influencer but to be more so like a thought leader in the crypto space he actually started i don't know that much about him but these are just the details i do know he started you know he had his community even before he came into crypto and he moves the market in a large in many ways that said he is alex becker as i said he's backing mavia and mavia is is amazing and mind you i'm not i'm not receiving any token allocations for any of these projects i'm simply sharing them with you because of my research and my research team and i know that these projects based off of their fundamental information are set and prime to really really explode and really really take off so um yeah, so Mavia, as I was sharing with you, is really killing it on mobile and they have beautiful 
animation and in gameplay sets they just really hit all the key requirements they have great in-game they have a great uh, token economic model they have a large community they're backed by some very influential people they you earn rewards in the token so it really just all around is really set to do very very well and they have a lot more on their roadmap to come which is great because that keeps the chart healthy it just it keeps it pumping right so you're all you're quite early for all of these projects that's sad as i was mentioning here's an article that validates this it says heroes of mavia surpassed 1 million downloads and dominates global app store rankings before token launch so this is wild and it's a really good indicator of how it will do really really amazing so that's mavia okay so that's the second token that i wanted to bring with you and if we look at its chart it's also currently in the red which of course would indicate a really good time to buy and if we zoom out seven days okay we've been a little in the red but if we look at the one month you can see it's an overall healthy bullish chart it's not parabolic okay it's not just like skyrocketing off but it has had a healthy a healthy run up so it has a lot of room to grow and some are extremely bullish on it i mean the simple fact alex becker's backing it is an incredible sign all right next token we're going to talk about is to off the grid so it's a highly hyped third person fpf shooter directed by neil blomkamp which i believe is some famous director and will be available on xbox and playstation as well so this is quite huge news and this tweet really captures it and it says you know if you're interested in buying nodes off the grid by Godzilla games and Godzilla games is massive we'll get into them a little bit in a little bit there's actually some hot news i'll share with you in just like two minutes just bear with me but it says so they're they're a game by Godzilla games which is huge okay um, it says it's one of the most anticipated AAA gaming projects launching in 2004. It says, I recommend checking out the OTC platform for Cryptopia. They are trading on the platform now. There are uh, 10,000 nodes in total with different rarities. These nodes come wrapped with gun tokens wrapped inside of them as well. 20,000, 50,000 and 200,000 respectively. So anyway, there's many details here on how you can go about trading them, but this is a really, really bullish um, indicator and in news. All right, the next project I'm sharing with you is called Aether Games. And Aether Games is being compared to Mavia, which I just shared with you, as well as Pixel. And there'll just be a lot of hype surrounding it. And, um, it's just incredible they have incredible partnerships coming they have trading cards it um it's pretty massive one second let me just open up yeah so it has a big community has its own studio and all the games are built within the same metaverse, which tells you there'll be a lot of adoption and interoperability. It's really has laid the groundwork for all of this to happen. So this game is also set to pop off, but of course, your own research. I'm just sharing what I know and happen to know is popping right now. And this is the game that I was, uh, the trading cards that I was mentioning are Cards of Eternity which is a collectible card game based on Wheel of Time and uses um, AI power. Anyway, so here it says, you know, fans of collectible card games, C CCG, can look forward to Cards of Eternity, of Eternity, a newly announced CCG based on the Wheel of Time fantasy franchise. The developers, Aether Games, the studio, as I was saying, 
which made the eponymous trading card game. Aether, which features blockchain and NFT support, is therefore only available via the Epic Game Store. Steam does not allow blockchain or NFTs. So this is awesome. There's so much going on. And then lastly, this is some of the news I wanted to share with you. Aether, Aether Games is set to launch on Ignition, which was one of the top three launch pads last bull run and will very likely be one of the top launch pads this bull run. And so this is bullish. It's coming soon. I would, I will link the website below so you can get in on this and start following the news. But it's just amazing. All right. So lastly, we will, let's just read some of this news. So um, the next so this is leading into the next um, gaming project that I want to share with you, but it basically talks about Crown. So that's the name. So let's just take a look now for you. So Crown, Crown is a digital horse trading, uh, sorry, not trading. It's a horse racing uh, game. And you can basically bet on dog, uh, on horses digitally. And it's incredible. I think they even have a humanitarian aspect to them. They have their own like digital Kentucky Derby. It has over 600 million fans, which once again is an amazing indicator of its overall potential success. And it's a Solana based project, which in itself is quite bullish since we all know Solana is quite fast and has a track record. And then let's get to this tweet that I was sharing with you, which says Ted racing by the numbers. And these are just some stats on them. So it has 100 million spent on photo, photo finish race horses, 426 horses owned, 409, 409,035 crown token collected via racing. So you'd earn the token. And it's netted 38,500 in race winnings with over 991 wins and one goat, <laughs> which is the greatest of all time. Anyway, it is really popping over here. And then like I was showing you, you know, this is their chart. They were, you know, trending sideways for a very long time. <laughs> and then since, you know, basically the Bitcoin ETFs news, it's really started to pop off and this is actually this is since February it's really started to pump so right now we're in red it could be a good time to buy not financial advice but I probably will be but all right this brings me to the end of today's video I hope you enjoyed I just made it back from a really long trip uh, Dubai Saudi and now I'm here so <laughs> anyway I'm still very excited to bring you this content. Um, it's like two in the morning, but I needed to bring you this video. I need to let I needed to let you know what's going on in the crypto space, so you can stay up to speed and ahead of the game with everybody. All of these tokens I've shared are new. They're new. You're ahead of everybody if you check them out, feel good about them, and put it a little bit in. Um, it could be a good idea. But all right, I hope you're doing good, and I will talk to you tomorrow. All right, ciao.